Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's Amy with Solus Be Quilty Studio. Happy Wednesday. I already said that, but I'm saying it again. Um, so it's going to be a gorgeous day outside, kind of temperate, which is really unusual for August. Um, so this is going to be a quick one. So I'm just going to show you some new fabric that came in, some new goodies that, um, that are now in the system. I have a pattern that's new to me that uh, one of, from one of my favorite um, bag makers, so I'm going to show that, and um, we're just gonna we're just gonna show some new stuff. So, um, I just got in a line from well, two lines from Moda Fabrics. So it's a dog and a cat line. The first one is called Dog Days. So it's super cute little quilt for uh, anybody who's a dog lover, or you could even make one for your dog. So it's really cute. It has like all the dog toys on one. This one has like portraits of different dogs. So maybe you could find your own. This one has the little paw prints in the, the dog colorway. And then the um, basic with the bones on it, which I think is really cute. So that's Dog Days. And this is by uh, Stacy. I can never say Let's, her name. Let's see. Let's. Okay. Anyway, love her though. Um, the second one, and I will have um, pre-cuts coming of this one. Uh, they're, they're later. Usually the pre-cuts come first. But since COVID, it's kind of a mismatch of when we get uh, fabric versus pre-cuts. So I am getting pre-cuts for all those people who want um, a little bit of all of it. So the second one's called Here Kitty Kitty. And it is the cutest little gray cat. And he's in plants. Or she. And in the garden. And then... We have the cute little meows with the yarn balls. And then I got the green, which I thought was really sweet because you can really see the kitty and their pink nose in that one. And cat feet. Maybe two for different uh, yep. colors. So we have more of a uh, pastel one for the kitties. And then the, the basic with the cat prints. And we did look, the cat prints and the dog prints are a bit different. So, um, so really cute. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this, whether I want to do like maybe like a bin to put cat toys in. Whoa, that sounds really cute, doesn't it? I love that idea. Um, so cat toys and dog toys. Uh, so I will explore that. Um, so that would be really cute. Uh, a little cuddle quilt little baby quilt for people who are cat lovers or dog lovers. Um, just a three yard quilt would be really awesome in this. Um, a little fat quarter quilt would be really cute in this. So lots of possibilities. Um, so I have a new vendor. Um, she, I, I found her at a retreat I was at last year, this year. Um, and it's little woven labels. And they are so adorable. So these are good for quilts or bags. So she has really cute sayings on them. It's from a company called Sarah Hearts. And she packages them so adorably. Um, she was very quick in getting back. And she always has new little... Um, and I showed you the, the bag from um, the Bowl Me Over bag with the little... Uh, moon and star on it and that's from her so uh, they are um, so they open up their nice woven ones and then you sew them into your seam of your bag or your quilt um, so I got cut press sew repeat which is adorable um, just so happy which would be cute on the front of a bag I Love this one. <laughs> so cute. Um, quilting is my superpower. This one has little... I have to open this one. Darn it. Maybe I can do it so I'm not destroying everything. Oh, excellent. Um, 
So this one has like little sewing tools. So it has like a, a rotary cutter and a measuring tape and a sewing machine and a little um, spool of thread. So love that one. This one is quickly becoming one of my favorites called Stitched with Love. Uh, this one also, I'm going to get the other colorway. It says Made by Me. So it has the gold and there's a black one that I think would be really cute. Um, this one is, it has, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. It's, uh, it says Handmade and it's all like rainbow colors. Um, so that's cute. I love this one. It says, thanks, I made that. I made it. I made it. And then the one you've seen on my little bag, so that it has all of the, I, it's just cute. There's no reason for it. It's just cute. Um, so as stars and rockets and moons and the sun, I just thought it was super adorable. So, um, so you get eight labels in each little cute little package and they're $8. So like a dollar a label. Um, I just think they, it's like the jewelry to your whatever. So whether it's a quilt or a bag, I think it's fantastic. So that's that one. I need to close this one. I'll do that later. Um, so one of my favorite, uh, bag makers, designers, um, is noodle head. And, uh, I haven't had this one in, I don't know if it's a new one, but I saw it and I was like, mm, I need it. So it's two sizes. It's like a little overnight bag, so you can see it in, um, on the back. So you see it with her. So the, so one just has like the little shoulder straps and the other one has like a, another hanging strap for, um, for maybe for taking it on a bigger trip. Uh, finished dimensions for the, for the big one are 22 by 14 high by seven deep. So a nice little overnight bag. The large one is, uh, the, the small one is 18 by 13 by four. And that's a new pattern that I will put in the system momentarily, but love that one. Um, I think I need to make that one almost immediately. I have a bag problem, which we already know. So that leads to, so let's make a bag. So, so let's make a bag is coming up. So that is my quarterly box subscription. Uh, two to five projects in each box. We have three in this one. Uh, so we're doing, oh, I'm missing one. I just thought about it. So our main project is the Tiffany bag from Sally Tomato. And then we have the Bella wallet from Sally Tomato. And a cute little project from Anita Anila Hoy, um, which is called the Twice as Nice bag. Um, so if you are a subscriber and you haven't chosen, please go do that. So you get first choice. Hmm? If they haven't chosen their colorway, please go and choose your colorway. If you are already a subscriber, um, if you are not a subscriber, come on down, play with us with bags. Um, the, the projects in this bag are go from super simple to kind of on the, between the basic and the intermediate. Um, I will have kind of a sew along with the wallet because we're gonna kind of go over some things that I found super helpful. Um, she has a video for both those bags and the other one, the directions are really, really great. Uh, so we, if you have any questions, we're going to kind of work on the wallet in like for two weeks. So if you have any questions, you can kind of pop in, let us know. Um, and then it will help you kind of motivate you to get that wallet done. It's not hard. So you just have to do it step by step. Um, if you want to subscribe, we will send out an email on Friday to everybody on our wait list and on our, um, contact list. So you can do that, or you can actually go to so let's make a bag .com and sign up to be a subscriber and come join the fun. It will show you all three colorways and, um, and then at, on Friday, you'll be able to subscribe and choose your colorway. 
Uh, so, um, so let's make a bag. We have a uh, new fabric from Moda. We have adorable little uh, woven labels from Sarah Hearts. I'm kind of obsessed right now with them. Um, so, oh, I showed the, these kind of up close. So you could see them. Quilting is my superpower. I love that one. Um, I will be putting some classes in for September. We are getting ready to send our now sophomore back to college. So lots of moving parts, lots of things happening. Um, I'm super excited for his sophomore year, and so is he. Uh, so we're kind of packing him up and getting him ready to go. And uh, next week, I will probably have some fun news about a shop hop coming up. So we're going to have a meeting and I'll tell you all about that next Wednesday. Um, so have a great Wednesday and we'll see you next week.